Welcome back to Millionaire. Our next contestant is a high school history teacher from Phoenixville, Pennsylvania. Please welcome Melanie Woo! Bowen. Love it. Teachers, no pun intended, teachers have a very good history of doing well on this show, and I love giving money away to teachers. 14 questions between you and that $1 million. The three lifelines are up there if you need them along the way. Good luck. You ready? I'm ready. Let's play. Who wants to be a millionaire? All right, so how did Who Wants to Be a Millionaire all start? Well, you know, I was on Wheel of Fortune, and um, to be honest, I just caught the bug. Um, the game show bug, it's, it, it happens a lot, actually. I, I have, I'm on a Facebook group of Wheel of Fortune alumni, and many of them have been on more than one show. And I think that's sort of one of the reasons I was interested, because I have these connections of people to people who are doing that. So I got the bug and found out a millionaire was accepting applications, so I put mine in. Of course, the first obstacle is to get selected, and every show has a different process. Um, Millionaire, the process was to submit the application, which I did online, with a video. You got If you don't put a video on, you're definitely not gonna get picked. Um, if they like your application, they contact you, and um, they want you to take a test. It's a, it's a trivia test, just like you would take on the show. Um, and if you pass the test, then there's an interview process. Um, and then I heard from them in August saying, can you be in Vegas in three days? <laughs> it's, it's overwhelming, first of all, to see the set. I mean, with, with Wheel of Fortune as well, and Millionaire, the one thing that impressed me was how much smaller everything looks in person. Um, it was definitely cool to see the set, though, and behind the scenes, you would probably be surprised to know that the entire Millionaire set is in a tent. It's basically a tent warehouse um, behind one of the casinos, and you would never know that inside there is a whole production uh, for the show. So that was pretty interesting. Most of the day is spent in, like, boot camp, and that was the same for Wheel of Fortune as well, where they're telling you everything to do, everything not to do, um, where to look, where not to look, what to say, what not to say, all those types of things. Um, all the legal legal rules, um, where you sign your life away, um, you, you can't disclose the outcome of your game, um, so that's a big one, or you might not get your money. This is for $30,000. Okay, 30, Here it is. According to U.S. Census data, Utah is the state with the youngest residents with a median age of 29.2 years old. What state is next youngest at 33.8 years old? Alaska, California, Colorado, Hawaii. Hmm. I would think that would be some sort of migration type of thing, like budding actors and actresses going to California, maybe? Or I am leading toward Nothing's jumping out enough for me to risk 15000 I don't think. Is your gut telling you anything? I'm kind of, I'm seeing similar reasons that young people might go to each of these states. Right. Decisions, decisions. Um, I'm going to take my 20 and run. Final. Final. That was a, a prudent play. 20000 Tell me it was not Alaska. How mad will you be if it is Alaska? A little. Okay, then I won't tell you. It's a lot. We'll just go to commercial. Oh, no, tell me. It's Alaska. Oh! Yeah. 20,000. Who would know the second most populous, or sorry, the second youngest um, population in a state unless you study, you know, population statistics, which I unfortunately do not. Um, I had a hunch that it was Alaska, and, well, Alaska. Um, but I didn't feel comfortable or confident enough to risk losing $15,000 to take a guess. And of course, I'm kicking myself now that I didn't take the guess because my hunch was correct. Um, but everybody, you know, hindsight's 2020 for sure. And, um, you know, I, I played a pretty good game. I, I, I'm happy with the results. Um, I do, of course, wish I would have been a little more risk, risky, risk taking, but eh, it's all it's all good. <laughs> <laughs> Most game shows require you to have been game show free for a year. <laughs> so I actually do have my eye on um, $100,000 Pyramid, which has had a renaissance. It's, it's reborn um, with Michael Strahan as the host. I like that one. Um, and Deal or No Deal, who doesn't like that? Because that one doesn't have, you don't have any, need to have any skills <laughs> or knowledge for that one. And you can win a million dollars. But yeah, I think 
py pyramid, I think, is going to be my next uh, goal. And honestly, now it's my thing. Like, I, I can't stop. <laughs>